Janai Broom jumping up. We thought he wasn't going to play. We were told he was going to be a scratch, but Janai Broom out of Auburn is going to play for Team Hines coming out wearing the gray. Team Brad's wearing the blue. They start with the ball first. Here's Amari Moore out of San Jose State working the point. Amari Bailey. What a star he's been, the freshman from UCLA. Oh, what a dump off inside. Adama Sonogo gets the scoring started, but Amari Bailey with the vision. Well, those are the kind of plays, excuse me, scoring. Those are the kind of plays that the scouts want to see him make. We know he can score, we know he can rebound. Can he make plays? He had eight assists in yesterday's game. Ricky Council, the fourth, coming back at him. Was that something that they may not have known that he had by the point? Extra pass into the corner, three ball on the wing, it goes. Seth Lundy continues his hot shooting. Know that he is an elite level athlete. So showing this off really helps his draft status and draft stock moving forward. Ben Shepard hanging in the air, he converts for the lay-in. Ben Shepard, the senior out of Belmont, he also had some flashes yesterday. Ooh, the hot shooting. I'm Seth Lundy just shut it down. We know you can light it up on the outside. So one of the things that the coaches want to see from you here is also can you follow the scouting report? How does that guy get open? He's five foot maybe four or five yesterday and already two for two to start this Shot 40 percent on the year, Corey. Backdoor cut, Lundy. How about the big man on the team getting Keontae George? Well, the first thing is they're getting a different player. Uh, when he was in high school, he weighed 225. Today he's 201. So he's done a great job. Right, exactly. <laughs> but, but he's somebody that went from 12 a game at Wichita State to 16 a game yeah. at Arkansas. That's a really tough thing to do. Um, but he had a heck of a game against us. The only thing we confident. No, absolutely, my brother. For sure. You know, and at the same time, I you have to be confident to be a shooter that he is because, of course, not all shots are going to go down. Screws players like that. That's oh, that's a nice Don't look yeah. pass from Dylan Jones. Of the round or looking into the stands. I think they all are a little more present out here focusing on the game. Amari Bailey with two guys on them off the window. Amari Bailey. If they keep their name in the draft, I even think, can you get a guarantee for, for training camp and is there a, a comfort level of making the roster spot? That's that Amari Bailey. This is not a, a guard dominated draft here, right? Certainly outside of Scoot Henderson, it's a lot of, there you go, there's a lot of wings. Yeah, so a two-way contract, it's an extension of the roster. There is a total of 90 two-way contracts in the league. Each team now is allowed to have three. It's basically roster spots 16, 17, and 18. Uh, that guys seem to be much more settled today, and it, that's totally understandable. These guys are trying to earn opportunities for NBA, to be on NBA rosters. So I think there was a bit of nerves yesterday. Second day, they're much more selling up. We got super teams in the WNBA this year with not only the Las Vegas Aces with Candace Parker coming to defend the champions, but Brianna Stewart, Stewie going over to New York would have been a first round pick. The fact that he went 30, 31 is almost as though you can't draft a four, a four year guy in the first round. So he's the first pick of the second round last year. How about that move? Get off the bounce. More of a mid range shooter can finish with either hand around the rim, can really, really defend. What hurts him is his inability to knock down the three ball and stop 28% from three on the season. Tamani. Good passing inside, a Julius Jubelis out of Arizona. A lot of you guys start watching in high school, but this is kind of a chance to, you know, do like the last little take that we can do. The combine and, and a player. And, and a player. <laughs> right, and a player. You've seen the combine in a number of different roles. Talk about the way the combine has changed. <laughs> 30? Oh, I, I got to put it out there like that. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting. Right now, the days of school, they see criticism all over the place. Like, you know, in the old days, when, you know, you, you scored 20 points, they only put the guy who scored 20 points name in the paper. Now, they put then, you know, the players did in the past as far as just a social aspect. You, know, you, you guys have so much more financial resources available to you to be able to go out and see guys. When they do part two. The sequel. The sequel. We got you the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks, all right, now we're all, you know, we're all in. But how about the patience level that you still have to show as far as how you continue to build out this roster? Yeah, our staff did a tremendous job of preparing for the opportunity. You don't want to put your 
yourself in position where you have to unwind a lot of mistakes where you move too fast. So we want to take a step forward. We want to continue to grow with this group. We know what this opportunity is. Following the rules here. <laughs> no, no. We like rule followers. <laughs> no. the, the, the success of uh, international players in the past, it's, it's, it's helped us understand um, things that we need to have in that environment to help them acclimate to, to the system, to the city. A little bit about the new $550 million addition to the San Antonio Spurs organization. Yeah, so it, it's been classified as $550 million practice facility, and if it was, it'd be the most incredible thing ever. It's a whole campus as soon as possible, and our, and our group can, can get the building and taking advantage of all the, the unique things that that will bring. So we're excited about that, but um, RC wow, looked at things and um, always forward thinking about how we can innovate and be different um, and provide the players, the staff, the community uh, what they may need uh, to go forward. I'm including myself. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Just hey, no, I'm, I'm including Call myself. Oh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> Notice I didn't break brain, pick my brain, talk to each other, share ideas as young coaches, and it's been a great week for me and, and I think for everyone involved. And of course, you the trade deadline. What have, what have you seen the difference with this roster? You know, it's, it's, it's difficult to quickly create chemistry and being in these situations together. They really enjoy playing basketball together. They, they feel complimentary of one another. And LeBron and AD, I think, are, are great superstars to play with because both guys, as great as they are, they like to bring their teammates along with them. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when they initially named Darvin Ham as the head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers, what were your feelings about that kind of going into it, and how has that played out so far in the season? Yeah, no. Now he's taking over that point guard spot. What has impressed you the most about him running the Lakers? Um, one, he, you know, he's another Arkansas kid, so <laughs> there's some, something in the water down there. And uh, <laughs> also get more of it than I do. Your experience was in Chicago? Yep. Were you Moody Bible? Moody Bible. By Moody Bible back in the day. <laughs> yep. Think back to your experience during that time. You played the first round pick. When I left, <laughs> I had to work out probably about 14 times, and I, I felt like my worst workout was for the Lakers. At that time, there was no, you know, $500 million practice facility. Mm -hmm. So we went to Inglewood YMCA. <laughs> the floor felt like it had peanut shells all over it. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't stand up. I couldn't slide. I couldn't stop. First day and your last day. Because you, you won't be here as long as you think. Mm -hmm. um, and if you are, it'll go fast. So you have to maximize every opportunity. You finish this and get it again. Easy, relatively speaking. Yeah. However, staying in the NBA much more difficult. My guy, 18 years, sir. Respect, Thank and you course. continue to represent the NBA with class and professionalism. We're thankful to have you here. As Team Hines with a six-point lead over Team Brad. Oh, Timmy with the monster slam. It's like he knew we were watching again. <laughs> Fonzo, I know you got to show the big man some love. Uh, absolutely. And able to spin out of that one, and we don't know him for his athleticism, but able to find his way down the lane, and he punches that one. He told on Timmy. Thought about it. Decides to put it on the ground with the left scoop shot. Doesn't go. Cleaning it up at the rim. Tipping it up still around. And pulling it down. Jordan Walsh. Coming back quickly the other way. And Lane doesn't go. But tipping it in for the slam. Smith pull up from the elbow. Rattles in. Well, first off, I appreciate my, my little sister Dre actually listening to some of the things I say because clearly you guys don't. Just on the fly as far as guys being called up, two-way guys coming down. Do you see a little bit of like this? You guys, I guess we can call it made a trade for Drew Timmy and P.J. Hall. Where you're Jones just took the charge there out of Weber State. Here's Shepard, lines up a three ball. Oh, the tip slam is good by P.J. Hall. Hello. From the G League Combine to here in the NBA Draft Combine, but I believe he's had a pretty impressive performance here this afternoon. As Look well. at Shepard with the hounding D. He's got the steal, the bounce pass to Broom, and one. 
Ben Shepard is having himself a day on both ends of the floor, and we shouldn't be surprised. And I, and I know people make a distinction with low major, mid major, high major, etc. But when you're a baller, you're a baller. And he showed two way ability today, able to knock down the three ball. So that's PJ Hall diving down the lane and tipping that one in. Ben Shepard with a nice deal and a beautiful pass to Janai Bruton. Right, even if he's on a two way contract where he's going to come in here and, and certainly push oh. some of these starters. Sorry to cut you off, Bobby, but on the inbounds, Drew Timmy beats the buzzer and and one. <laughs> you are not sorry to cut him off. I am sorry. <laughs> I, I get a little excited. I can't help myself. I tell you what, whoever made that trade for Drew Timmy to, to coach Hines' team should be in trouble right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing, Bobby. It wasn't just Drew Timmy in his pregame routine. He kicks his leg well above his head. Almost, I mean, it's, it's freakish. In nature, you're talking about someone 6'10", mm -hmm. and he's not a skinny 6'10". No. You're talking, I mean, he is built well for the game, but super flexible. And again, I believe, I absolutely believe he can get in the mix. Smith breaking down his man. Can't get it to go. Team Hines with numbers and Jordan Miller with back-to-back -back buckets for Team Hines. Jordan Miller just just knows how to play, man. <laughs> he, he just he does. He, he's just always effective. It doesn't matter what else is going on. He's going to be out there and he's going to be productive. Smith will launch it, nothing but nylon. Drew Timmy out ahead of the pack. Get up, Drew. <laughs> If I threw it to you, you would have caught it and dunked it, right? Right. And we would have been on Sports Center. True. That's the plan. It's <laughs> <laughs> Timmy. What's the follow? Got another Sports Center top 10 moment because he would have, of course, made sure to put the sauce on. Oh, you know that. Another three ball. When you go out here and you're playing in a scenario like this where there's so much pressure on you, you have to make sure that, one, you appreciate the opportunity because if you've ever been injured before and not able to play or not able to play this level. Well, it's almost an evolution, right? As far as you go from high school where you're the best player to college where you're probably not. And now certainly being in the pros as far as filling that, you know, certainly filling that role here. And, Bobby, that's exactly why I didn't participate in this because of Corey's point, it's so guard dominant that I don't think I would have been able. I think it would have been a top five pick. Why were you playing the combine? Uh -oh, I thought he was going to take off. <laughs> <laughs> Just that <laughs> Throwing it up top. Throwing it down. Samani Kamara. Not even cash consideration. <laughs> hey, right. Cash consideration, Bobby. That's good, Bobby. That's so good. Adama Sanogo, the national champ from Connecticut, throwing it down. And still putting up big-time numbers. Yeah, that was major. To see him going out and performing the way he was and not being able to eat mm -hmm. during daylight hours. Spectacular performance for the, the Huskies. And shout out to my guy, Dan Nee. Not Dan, but Danny Hurley <laughs> winning a national championship yeah. this season with the UConn Huskies. That'll do it. Our first scrimmage in the books here on the second and final day of scrimmages. Team Hines, it was a close one. They trailed heading into the fourth quarter, but they win it 117-10.